Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the walkthrough for building and creating Meta Gorilla using MetaHuman uh, in Unreal 5.6. I'm going to try and run through it as quickly as possible. I'll, uh, I'll fast forward bits that are a bit boring and uh, try and leave out all the junky parts. Um, overview though, uh, gonna, we're going to prep our custom MetaHuman mesh. Uh, then we need to wrap the base mesh to our source mesh import into Unreal, configure our custom MetaHuman, customize and adjust, and then final assembly and do some fun stuff like testing. So we have this great gorilla mesh that I want that we that I want to turn into a MetaHuman. The issue is that the topology does not match that of a MetaHuman topology. First thing we need to prepare our MetaHuman mesh. So we're going to start in Unreal. Um, there's lots and lots of tutorials about how to get MetaHuman running in Unreal 5.6. So I won't go into too much detail, but the basics are you need to go to the plugin manager up here. I would just type in MetaHuman and load pretty much everything that says metahuman on it you don't need all of them but better safe than sorry some are experimental so you might get a little bit of an error yes yes uh, don't need that one one of the things that you do need is the metahuman creator core data which you can get from the load screen i'm going to restart this now okay now that Unreal's back open. We're going to go to the launcher so you can see where to get the MetaHuman Creator Core data. So here in the engine versions, we want to see 5.6.0. If we hit this drop down next to the launch button and into options, you scroll here and see right in the middle here, it says MetaHuman Creator Core Data. Tick that guy and then you will automatically, and once you apply, it will download the 5. 52 gigs, which I already have, so I don't need that. I'm going to close that down. Right now, all I'm doing is creating a base mesh for my custom MetaHuman. I'm going to create a MetaHuman character. I'm just going to call this Char for character. I double click on that guy, and voila, here is a generic. MetaHuman. I'm going to go to the body and check out the... I'm actually going to go to the presets and I want to find a big thick body like Dominic. He'll do. There we go. So I'm going to use Dominic as my base for my Meta Gorilla. I'm going to turn his clothes off. down hit I've got to download textures so I can build him just download the two 2k textures keep it simple and once all that's done I go to assembly it says character is not rigged oh, yes I do need to create rig the character I don't need any of this rigging all I want is the mesh but to get the mesh in Unreal the first time you need to go through this process so now I have my MetaHuman, I'm just going to go back into the Create tab, the Creator. Sorry, well, I'm sipping on my coffee. And I'm going to push out the uh, assembly into DCC being Maya, and I'm going to use the MetaHuman to Maya plugin. So with the creator open, we're going to head over to assembly, change the assembly to DCC export. Find where you want to save it to, somewhere where you'll remember. Select the folder. And hit assemble. Now that I've done that, I can save all this. So now that I'm in Maya, I'm going to go to Settings, Plugin Manager, and I'm going to search for the MetaHuman plugin. 
sometimes you get this error where it says embedded RL4 is uh, out of date, which is the Quixel bridge plugin, and that sometimes conflicts. So if you just unload that, you don't have to worry about uh, that at all. We go back to MetaHuman loaded and close that. And now we have this MetaHuman shelf up here. And if we just go to character assembler, and we search for where we saved our guy, which is just here. You select the top level folder. Should come up with a um, uh, a thumbnail, but it doesn't. We're going to hit assemble. We're going to import the MetaHuman into Maya. Close that down, and there he is. There's our guy. There is our MetaHuman. Now, all we we only want the mesh. We don't need any of the other parts. So we want the head mesh. We want the body mesh, so body, head. I'm just going to duplicate those, unparent them. Uh, just for good measure, I'm going to delete history and I am going to unlock all of their, uh, all the translates and bits and pieces. The rest of this, I'm just going to delete. Don't need any of it. Um, lots of. That is our metahuman topology, which is going to be our base mesh for everything else. Head, body. Now we want to take this mesh and we're going to wrap that around our gorilla. So I'm just going to export my head as metahuman uh, head lod zero as an OBJ. And I'm going to do the same to the body separately metahuman body lod zero obviously I've already done that then we're going to wrap our gorilla with uh, with the uh, face form wrap tool full disclosure that is a paid program and but it does have a 30-day free trial which is what I'm using